Hello and hello and namaste. This is Isuri Bhav Thapa from Voice of Animal Nepal. Voice of Animal Nepal was established in 2015, 26 July, pursuant to the Act of Social Welfare Act 1977, with the purpose of providing and uh, shelter, providing shelter and treatment for the stray and abandoned and sick animal in Nepal. Voice of Animal Nepal has been doing lots of animal welfare activities like medical treatment to state animals, anti-rabies vaccination, awareness on rabies, animal rights and uh, protection, dog population management, like spay and uh, neutering program, animal law advocacy, and uh, a program in disaster relief of animals in despair. Our mission is to provide women shelter and care to comp companion animals temporarily in need of housing to assist in disaster response and to further a cause of responsible animal adoption and ownership through education and public awareness. The bone, is, the bone has committed to take part actively in the overall development of animal welfare society. As we all know, Nepal is a landlocked country which is surrounded from the south, east, and west direction by India, the country carrying the heaviest rabies burden due to, due to the open border. The eradication of the disease has been difficult. Nepal used to have high rate of human rabies deaths per total population in the 1970s as compared to other countries across the globe, but the situation has now changed. The government the, the governmental as well as non-governmental agencies should work together and launch rabies control programs throughout the country. Only with the combined efforts of all of the stakeholders, the goal of achieving zero rabies by 2030 will be feasible in Nepal. A rabies in Nepal, every year on September 28th, we celebrate World Rabies Day, during this day, Voice of Animal Nepal start the day off by sharing the masses about rabies and its impact on communities in both English and Nepali. Our Facebook page is the ideal platform to reach a larger audience. We are able to share some important rabies awareness messages with our followers. The Global Alliance Rabies Control, GAR, education and awareness resources were so useful for our campaign, especially as we were able to easily get all the resources from the GARC website. The World Rabies Day logo was particularly effective as we use this on our anti-rabies vaccination banner, which was displayed at our project site while educating people and vaccinating animals, helping to draw at interest from people walking by our achievement, rabies vaccination. With the awareness masses reaching our communities, we move on to second part of the day. Last year in 2020, we organized our anti-rabies vaccination program at ward number two and three of Surabhinayak municipality in the Bhaktapur district. We ran the vaccination program in two shifts, an early morning shift and an afternoon shift. As in our experience, Street dogs can easily be caught in the early morning and evening as they tend to hide in shady places to protect them from the heat of the sun during the day. In total, we caught and vaccinated 250 street dogs, a great effort for a small team like ours working with limited resources. We know that vaccinating dog is, a, is essential to eliminating rabies and therefore activities and events like this are the most important ones on our calendar. And uh, it is estimated that there are 22,000 street dogs throughout the Kathmandu Valley. Voice of Animal Nepal is do mass vaccination program in entire Kathmandu Valley. Here are some photos of our latest program. program. Rabies awareness is the most important part of our program. People still don't know about the rabies and its painful 
death. Tarai Belt of Nepal is very is with high density of population with low literacy, lack rabies awareness. So recently, Boise Banu Animal Nepal conducted an awareness program on rabies and its impact to the human body in Dhanusha Dam Municipality, province number two, Nepal. The project was held in ward number six, seven, and eight and nine of Dhanusha Dam Municipality, province number two, Nepal. Total 12 schools were covered and 6,567 students from class two to 12 attended this awareness program. Again, we also do the population management program because Boise Valley Nepal is very much concerned with the increase of stray dog population. The life of stray dogs is very stressful and uh, painful. Boise Valley Nepal also conducted an animal birth control program, especially for stray dogs. In the month of March 2021, ward number two of Surabhinayak municipality of Bhaktapur distance was our project site. 247 stray dogs were vaccinated and sterilized in the, in, in the project. In September month, we have also scheduled a spay and neuter program. We, uh, we neuter program. Our another program during this pandemic is dog feeding. This because this dog pandemic created a big problems for our city dogs. Since the hotels and restaurants were shut down due to lockdown in Nepal, from where these city dogs used to get leftover foods, they were starving. Voice of Nepal started a state dog feeding program in the beginning of the lockdown in Nepal in March 2020, and, and it is still continuing. We are very thankful and grateful to the following groups, organization, and individuals for supporting us so much during this pandemic. Without their support of all of these projects who could not have been possible. Animal Australia, SPC International, Lady Free Thinker, Women Society International, Lost Charity Court, UK, and finally, Helena Manchi from UK. Thank you, Voice of Nepal. Namaste.